hi guys so i'm super excited today because i've got a new camera which means i can start doing more videos and all the fun stuff like that um but today um i just wanted to quickly update you on my skin um and then i thought i'd do a quick everyday makeup routine um i don't tend to wear makeup every single day my cat is scratching everything in the background so if you can hear some weird noises it's my cat um but yeah um i don't tend to wear makeup every day but when i do this is the kind of quick routine that i'll go by so i thought i'd share it with you lovely people so so i've already moisturized my face um i'm just gonna zoom you in a bit I think that'll do. Um, okay, so I think probably because it's a quick look, I'm just gonna go straight in with my foundation first. So I'm using the best Huda Beauty Foul Filter Foundation uh, in shade Creme Brulee. So um, what I'm gonna do, I'll just bring my mirror over here, that might help. Uh, so I'm just going to put a few dots on my face. Like that. Um, then I'm going to add some of the Barry M Liquid Chrome Highlighter Drops to my foundation as well. And it's all just going to mix in together. So another couple of drops of this. And then because at the moment I'm wearing tan, so I don't know if you can see by my arm, my face is quite a bit lighter than my um, than the rest of my body. So I'm going to add a bit of a darker foundation. So this is the Maybelline Fit Me. In shade 220. I'm just going to dot that all around my face again and then I'm going to get my brush and just pat it all into the skin really quickly. So I'm blending all that in together. Like so. Yeah, I, I want to make sure that my base is like really nice and kind of flawless and because that's like the main part, especially when you're not doing like a massive um, like eye look, like I'm not today, I'm just going really simple on the eyes. So I want to make sure that the rest of my skin looks nice and covered and yeah. Okay, so once I've done that, then I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealers. So the lighter one is going to go under my eyes. And then the darker one is just going to go on any areas that I want a bit more coverage. And cover where I want. I'm just gonna, with my foundation brush again, just pat this out. You don't want to do it as much as your foundation because you don't want to just completely wipe it all off. Otherwise, it's pretty pointless you want it to just kind of sit nicely blended on top just for that extra coverage and then under the eyes Yeah. <laughs> 
And then I'm going to go in with um, this L'Oreal Infallible um, Foundation Stick. Um, so I don't use it as foundation, I just use it to contour. Um, down here, down here, and then my jaw. Actually, I'll do up here as well. And then you want to get like a small fluffy brush. So I use when I can find it. How frustrating is it when you lose your brushes? Like you just had it, you put it down, and then it's just disappeared. It happens all the time. Okay, so yeah. I'm just using a Real Techniques contour brush. I'm just going to drag that up slightly, just patting gently. Working your way down to that line to soften it. Like so. Just keep patting. It can be quite time consuming, but honestly, if you rush it, it's just going to look a mess. So you want to really take your time with it, make sure it's all blended into the skin. Especially like, oh, <laughs> especially around your jawline. So you want to really bring it down onto the neck as well because you don't want that um, harsh line. So yeah, I've got a nasty spot up here, it really hurts and it's going to probably be quite hard to cover it. So I find sometimes that because it's raised I'm trying to blend the makeup around it but it just doesn't blend as well. You see how well that's covered. Obviously, like I say all the time, you're not going to get rid of all the lumps and bumps. But the redness and stuff, so like this side, it's more red. And you can really see that it's covered it quite well. The lighting's just got there. That's the spot that I'm on about. You can still see it from here. Ugh. My cat is scratching up my carpet. Like okay. So, once I've done that, then I'm going to go in with powder, so use the Rimmel Stay Matte um, Powder in Translucent. Um, and again, I can't find my brush. So I'm just using a big fluffy brush. Focusing mainly on like under my eyes and then where my spots are because that's where makeup tends to slip off from the like first. Let's put quite a lot of powder around them. And then just use like little bits of the excess powder 
everywhere else. So this is just a sleek um, palette. The colours are really, really, really nice. So I'm going to use a Real Techniques blusher brush. And just lightly dab it onto the skin. You want it just a little bit higher from where you contoured. I was doing my nose as well. And then I'm going to go in with my favourite highlighter. So it's Doll Light in Shine Bright. It's a bit um, worn out. Just using a fan brush. Look at that. Oh, it's so good. Cupid's bow. My nose a bit more in the corners. Um, brow bone. I was in um, a shop the other day and I can't remember what brand it was but they said um, it was like a, a brow pencil and it was saying like for the perfect brows and I kid you not it was, have I got it here, yeah, it was the size of this NYX jumbo eye pencil so oh like that big and I was like Perfect brows? Are you sure? Hmm. Made me laugh. Maybe that's just for people that I don't know. Just like a quick shading. Maybe yeah. Maybe you could do some good shading with it if you use it lightly. I don't know. It's not for me. Like so. Then I'm going to go in quickly with some um, eyeshadow. So I'm only using literally two. So I'm going to use this NYX um, like burnt orangey colour. Um, I don't know what. Oh, LOL. <laughs> That's what it's called. Um, and then I'm just going to use a big fluffy brush. Just a cheap one. Whack it in the product and then whack it on my eyes. Like I said, it's everyday makeup, so I'm not gonna spend loads of time on it. Like so, say hi. Hi, I'm a squiffy little puppy. Where was I? Um. really need to stop saying um I dread to think how many times I've said it in this video um uh, right um I'm just gonna take that underneath my eye a little bit ah. yes I am using the same brush you probably should use a smaller brush but this is a quick makeup routine that's, you know, taking me like 20 minutes. <sighs> I'd be screwed trying to do that five minute makeup challenge. Oh my God. I'd literally just about get my foundation on and be like, I'm done. That is not for me. If you're looking for how to do your makeup in five minutes, I'm not your girl. Sorry. This is um, Revolution. Um, it's foiled eyeshadow in the shade Rival. Really pretty. Um, I'm probably just going to use my finger for this. 
So, actually, no, I'll use a brush, but I'm gonna use like quite a big fluffy brush and just dab it in. Like that. I just want a little bit of shimmer, I don't want too much. It's such a pretty, I don't know if you could focus on that, it's such a pretty colour. Helen E um, eyeliner pencil in brown. I'm just gonna quickly slightly darken up my lash line. Like so. Okay. Time for mascara and then lips. Yeah, so I reckon like my everyday makeup routine probably does still take me like half an hour. I think if I didn't have my acne, it would be a lot quicker because I would be more inclined to just put in a thin layer of foundation on and a bit of blusher and whatnot but because of my acne I tend to spend a lot more time on the skin than a lot of people usually would to curl them. Damn it. Oh well. So. Decisions. They look so similar but they're really not. I'm going to go with Athens. But I always regret putting this on. I can't remember why until I put it on. Okay. Oh, that's not too bad. No. See? I knew I wouldn't like it, so I'm going to go back in with Stockholm. That's a bit there. No, it's not. Right, start again. Let's wipe it off. I always put like concealer or like usually I have foundation on my lips from doing the rest of my makeup anyway. So if I wipe it off, put concealer back on, it just helps the um, lip products stay on a bit longer. I'm going to just use what I always use, so I'm going to go with my MAC Peach Stock. And then I use this Calvin Klein lipstick just to darken it up a little bit. And then go in with my Nick. Fortune cookie butter glass. Mm. 
and then finish it all off with my NYX setting spray. And I'm finally done. Did I say it was quick? Maybe not so quick, but my makeup routine anyhow. So I hope you've enjoyed this, um, I know it's a bit messy and I'm a bit all over the place because I don't really do videos that often but I'm going to keep doing them more and more and hopefully you guys will enjoy them. Um, so yeah if you have any requests or anything like that of um, what you want to see next then just let me know. Um, I don't like saying all of this because you hear it all the time but I guess subscribe, um, like, all of that stuff or don't. Um, but yeah, have a lovely day. Thanks for watching. Bye.